Hi, my name is John Dooley. I'm with Microsoft. Thanks for joining me today for this short demo. I want to showcase how you can leverage the Microsoft platform for everyday tasks in your organization. This demo shows how to use Excel 2010 and Dynamics GP 2010 to create a seamless solution that leverages simple technologies like Microsoft Office and Web Services. So my demo today is going to leverage Excel to create a general ledger journal entry. I was meeting with a prospect a few weeks ago and they wanted to leverage um, Excel for journal entries and they asked a question, was it possible to create a journal entry in Dynamics GP? Being a good salesperson, of course I said we could do that. But Excel doesn't natively support web services. So it got me thinking, it does support VBA and also for references to the client platform. Maybe I could call a web service to create a journal entry. So that's what I've done. This is an application of technology. It's not a feature of Dynamics GP 2010. Uh, you can leverage our web services to do something like this and that's the goal of this demo. You know, it uses some VBA and it also uh, creates a reference to the MS XML library uh, on the client side. So there's a little bit of uh, uh, linkage to do some XML to call uh, some of the web services stuff. It does call a simple w uh, web SOAP web service based on the Dynamics GP web services SDK that I did leverage um, here. And really the goal is to showcase the power of the Microsoft platform, the flexibility you know, for everyday tasks. Alright, here we are in the Dynamics GP 2010 R2 image. I want to just bring up Excel here. So here's my uh, demo. This is a spreadsheet um, that's going to allow us to enter in a compound journal entry and then post that to uh, Dynamics GP through a web service and uh, VBA. So I have a button up here that when uh, I'm ready to post, I just hit the button and it will post. I can have a few pieces of information um, that will pass through, like the name of the, the journal, the date of the journal, and the company that I'm um, referencing. If I look at uh, the spreadsheet itself, I have a couple of features of Excel. I have uh, a look up here, and this actually will go through uh, the list of chart of accounts and um, show me the number and then the name. So this is just a handy feature uh, to pull some accounts, and you'll notice uh, that also uh, changes the account number over here. Um, the way this is set up that um, will actually make sure that the journal entry is balanced uh, before it posts uh, into uh, the web service. So if I put a value in here, um, we'll notice that the, we now need a balancing entry uh, on the, the journal that we're not balanced. And at this point, we would not be able to post this journal. I also have some references here. Um, so notes, if we make any notes, those will carry forward. Uh, through the journal entry. And then I have a journal ID here um, that allows me to do some co a compound entry. So if I were to just put in a value in here, let's say 451, uh, well I actually will notice that a journal is out of balance. So we have a, um, some conditional formatting that pops up in here that tells us a journal is out of balance in here. Okay, so uh, that's just kind of those high level features that just show some of the flexibility of doing a journal entry inside of uh, Dynamics GP. Uh, I'm good with my journal entry and I'm going to go post this. So you notice we have a little bit of spiking going on and now that web service is going to come back and say yep we're posted. Here we see a uh, message box comes back and uh, we see that uh, created uh, the GL transaction is complete. Now let's go over to Dynamics GP and look up this journal and do our look up. And here we see uh, the compound journal entry. And we'll grab this top one here. And uh, we can go through them. And you notice here that the references uh, come in at the, uh, the journal um, and at the uh, detail level. 